Investigators in Turkey set to search the Saudi consulate there in search of the Saudi missing journalist. Surveillance video shows him entering the, video, uh, the, entering the building. His fiance waiting outside says he never walked out. President Trump was asked about it yesterday. I am concerned about it. I don't like hearing about it. And hopefully that will sort itself out. Right now, nobody knows anything about it, but there's some pretty bad stories going around. I do not like it. Trey Yingst is live in our Mideast Bureau with the latest. Trey? Well, good morning, John. President Trump's comments there come nearly a week after Washington Post columnist Jamal Khashoggi disappeared from the Saudi consulate in Istanbul. According to Turkish officials, Khashoggi is believed to have been murdered when he went to pick up documents for an upcoming trip. The Saudis are denying any involvement in his disappearance, though, and called recent reports about Khashoggi absolutely false and baseless. Also in a statement to Fox News, the spokesperson for the Saudi embassy in Washington said that Turkish investigators have been granted access to the consulate in order to look for more information and conduct a thorough investigation regarding the disappearance of Jamal. Khashoggi. Uh, what about the the effect on U.S. Saudi relations? Obviously, President Trump is keeping an open mind about this, but is it expected uh, to have a large effect? Well, John, the U.S. State Department is calling on the government of Saudi Arabia to participate in any investigation that does arise. Just last night, the Secretary of State Mike Pompeo did weigh in and uh, reiterated this position of the U.S. government. But this is an interesting place for the Trump administration to be in due to the fact that Khashoggi was a U.S. resident but not a U.S. citizen. He was also working for an American media organization, The Washington Post. If we look back historically, though, for the Trump administration, when it comes to holding uh, the kingdom of Saudi Arabia accountable for their actions, whether it's regarding civilian casualties in Yemen or human rights violations in Saudi Arabia, the Trump administration has been reluctant to do so. John? Trey Yingst in our Mideast Bureau. Thanks, Trey.